And while that's resting, we'll crack on with the peppercorn sauce. For the peppercorn sauce, we need shallots, garlic, thyme, green peppercorns, which are these little things here, some double cream, and some beef stock. We're gonna cook it in the pan that we just cooked the steak in. It's like a match made in heaven, steak and peppercorn sauce. So we just wanna dice the shallots. I'm just going straight through the shallot because they, and then I'm gonna come across. You wanna go super fine because they're almost gonna melt into the sauce and we want them to cook in the time that it takes the steak to rest. So five, five minutes. Fucking nice fine shallot there, aren't they? Wait. Touch of butter to the pan. Touch more oil, just to cook down the, the shallots. And then we're, we're using the same pan that we cooked the steak in, so we've got all of those, um, we've got all those caramelized bits on the bottom of the pan. Shallots in. Just cook those down nice and slowly. Nice and sweet. So it's gonna take a few minutes. Garlic, which we'll just smash. We got a paste just by smashing it with the blade, you see? So now we go garlic straight in the pan. Cooking down the shallots and the garlic, and you can see all these, or you know, there's a slight brown colour in there, and that's all the pan juices from the from the steak. So that's all that's all flavour. Just gonna add in the cognac. I'm just gonna cook that off. <laughs> Green peppercorns. Couple of tablespoons of those. They were a lot less harsh than the peppercorn. You can actually eat one of those. If you ate a black peppercorn, it would kill your mouth. Then we're gonna add the beef stock. Now you wanna reduce this down almost by two thirds. So it's nice and thick and sticky and it's gonna become really intense. Stock's reduced down now, and now it's time to finish the sauce. So add the cream, tablespoon of double cream. Adds that nice creaminess, so you get this beautiful sauce here. Yummy. Bring that up to a boil, and turn it down slightly. Mmm. That's amazing. I'm gonna add a touch of black pepper. There's a lot of these resting juices here, so I'm just gonna put those back. Never leave favour on the tray. It's beautifully rested. Steak out. Does that make you hungry, Rollo? <laughs> Look at that, boy. Wall-to-wall -wall pinkness, that's what we're looking for. It's beautifully rested. There's not lots of juice pissing out everywhere. And that is just gonna go fantastically with the peppercorn sauce. So just load up the... And then you've got extra for dipping your, dipping your jippies in. Bloody hell. Peppercorn sauce. The classic with a steak. But you can also dip your chips in it. Mmm. So good, peppery. The sauce has got body, but we've done it the proper way. And you can really taste that at the end. The end product is rich, it's unctuous. You can just go and buy peppercorn sauce in the shop, but it's not gonna be as good as what you can make if you follow this recipe. So, get off your ass, get off TikTok, and go and fucking make the sauce, dickhead. <laughs> Don't put that in.